Hello. Today, I want to share with you how to stop salt craving, craving of the other salt. The reason you are craving for potato chips, presto, or anything that is salty, it is because your body is lacking of sodium. Sodium from the whole salt, from the real salt. Your body is internally starving of salt. Your blood need a lot of sodium. And that is why you are craving for those chips and salty nuts, anything salty, right? Have you noticed how much you like to eat salty food? Now, some of you are not craving those chips and salty snack, but you are craving sugar. Same thing. Whether you are craving salt or craving sugar, your body is lacking of minerals, trace mineral in the whole salt. We love eating because eating is about friendships and memories and special occasion. There's always gathering, right? There's always birthday, anniversary. There's that family and it's also the memories of cooking and baking or the recipe that been passed down from generation to generations. And we love that smell of fresh baked cookie, that family time or the time of just being together. And food is what bond us together doing Jesus time with their disciple. He eats with them and they are come together using eating food, right? So food is not, it's not our enemy. It's just that we need to, we just need to be wise of what we put in our body. And when you over seasoning, when you over using, you know, the wrong kind of oil, wrong kind of sauce, food that is high in sodium that is not coming from whole salt, but coming from a bottle sauce. We need to start using salt, the whole salt, and we need to start adding salt into our food, into our cooking, and not be afraid of using it because when you start using less salt, what happened is the body is now needing to replace that and the body need more of it. And when you don't use enough salt into your cooking, and that is why you constantly need to snack. And you almost never give your body a chance to rest. Your pancreas constantly having to produce insulin. You cannot stop snacking on salty food or you cannot stop snacking on sugar and sweet because your body is malnutrition of the minerals in the whole salt. By eating and doing the soleil, get rid of all the bottle sauce, using salt, into your cooking. I know it's going to be hard at first because it doesn't give you that same taste as the bottle sauce. I never eat salt until seven years ago and that's within short period of time. All my chronic health, everything that I suffer for almost 40 years, it all disappeared by using salt, 
into whatever I cook, whatever I eat. I put in my rice, I put in my soup, I put on my egg, I put on my vegetables. I add a pinch of salt into my coffee. I bring my Bible salt to the restaurant and the owner and the chef know that I bring my own salt and my own cayenne pepper. I, you know, for longest time, I wasn't able to have any chip or salsa. It will automatic damage my gut health. But I never stopped doing the Bible salt diet step plan and always implement with hot water and lemon after you eat anything that is oily, especially the food from the restaurant. You're never going to be able to do this perfectly. But my diet, this program is more than just salt. You do have to go out and get your vitamin D. You do have to get your um, sun to your skin. You need to find joy. And whatever that is, you need to protect your gut health, also your mental health. Roses and flower bring me happiness. I also love walking bare feet at the ocean. I think we all love the same thing. Many, many of you love what I love and you just need to find what worked for you. And I know a lot of you are searching for that superfood, even though we know there's no such thing. But sometimes we come across something that it's actually really works, such as this moringa tea, moringa leaf. I encourage everyone to grow your own. It's very easy to grow. You can grow it in the pot as well. I learned of this herb through my farmer when I used to own a restaurant and I share about the beneficial of moringa tea in one of the video that you might want to go back and watch. And as far as food, this whole video is about why the body is seeking salty or sugary food because your body is starving of the trace mineral and the nutrient that is found in whole salt. I notice when I start doing this, I no longer seeking for potato chips, seeking for salty nuts, seeking for sugar. I do have treat day. I talk about having treat day a lot. And you might have something that you really, really love. So you wanna save that on your treat day. And if you wanna do a treat once a week, that's what I do. But sometime in the middle of the week, I feel like I wanna have a treat, then I'll have a treat. But usually I, I don't do more than twice a week. But your body don't really need it because once you give your body all the nutrients and the salt help absorb all the fruits and vegetables, the protein that you eat, the body is satisfied and it's no longer craving for snack and sugary food. So if you are looking for a salty snack or sweet treat, or if you feel like you have sweet tooth, your body is actually need more of the salt. Do more of this and you're gonna notice the when you're seeking for that sugary or salty snack, it will reduce almost completely gone. And again, remember the salt is about God and he wants to get the credit. He wants the glory. He wants you to know that he made it. He put it here. It is a common grace to all human and animals, but it's mainly to strengthen your gut health to the believer, okay? So to my brother and sister in Christ, I pray that God will guide you and give you hope and strength 
but again, it's really not about me or how I use salt to heal my body, but it is about me sharing this good news with you that God is good, God is in control, and He is all about Him. It's all about Him, okay? I hope and pray that you will find the way and understand how the salt can help you and use it in your everyday cooking and everyday living. I hope this information is helpful.